All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to America Talks Live. I'm Steve Malzberg. In just a few minutes, Michael Savage with his new book, Scorched Earth. The only question is, will Teddy be present at the interview? He will join us live for an exclusive two segments. But first, my uh, Newsmax TV colleague, Miranda Khan, has the latest on the shooting in Charlotte. Thanks, Steve. Charlotte, North Carolina's mayor says the city is trying to recover today following more violent protests. Today our city is open for business as usual. And we let people know, come to our uptown. We are here working. Uh, our buses are running. We are here to serve. Last night, protesters took to the streets, rallying against the police shooting of Keith Lamont Scott. Police say they were searching for a suspect. When they saw Scott get out of his car holding a gun, he was shot after police say he refused to drop the firearm. Now the chief of police warns there may be more protests tonight. We will see a heavy uniform presence, obviously. Our aviation unit will continue to be our eyes in the sky and give us an aerial view that we couldn't have otherwise. And Governor Pat McCrory declared a state of emergency last night, activating the National Guard to help local law enforcement. More than 40 people were arrested. Officials say one person was shot by another protester. For much more on these stories, please visit Newsmax.com. I'm Miranda Khan. Back to you. All right, thanks, Miranda. Well, uh, the uh, press conference, of course, uh, the video of the shooting in Charlotte will not be released, uh, not to the public. The family will see it. Some have seen it and said that it shows that the uh, uh, perpetrator who was shot and killed had a gun, not a book. Um, and I got to tell you, um, the rioting last night was outrageous, um, just disgusting, despicable, looting and rioting and throwing rocks and bricks at cops and some uh, protester was shot and killed, just uh, horrific and disgusting. Now, uh, the Tulsa shooting. Donald Trump was asked about both shootings yesterday at a, uh, a black uh, church and he, I think he made a terrible, terrible mistake. Watch. I must tell you, I watched the shooting in particular in Tulsa. And that man was hands up. That man went to the car, hands up, put his hand on the car. I mean, it, to me, it looked like he did everything you're supposed to do. And he looked like a really good man. And maybe I'm a little clouded because I saw his family talking about him after the fact. So you get a little bit you know, different image maybe, but to me he looked like a, you know, somebody that was doing what they were asking him to do. When in fact, Donald, according to the police, he was not doing what they were asking him to do. He did exactly the opposite. Shame on Donald Trump for sounding a bit like Hillary. Shame on him. He was supposed to kneel. He would not kneel. She had the gun pulled on him for over a minute. She said, Neil, stay where you are. Don't move. He kept backing up, backing up, backing up. He kept, according to the officer's lawyer, reaching into his pocket. She felt any minute he was going to grab, grab, uh, pull out a gun. And then he went to the car, all against police orders. He did not do what he was being asked to do. So Donald Trump made a big mistake, and it's unfortunate. And then he said this. This young officer, I don't know what she was thinking. I don't know what she was thinking, but I'm very, very troubled by that. I'm very, very troubled by that. And we have to be very, we have to be very careful. So, I mean, these things are terrible. That was, in my opinion, that was a terrible, a terrible situation. And we've seen others. We've seen others. And uh, the police are aware of that, too. By the way, the police are troubled by it, too. They look at it. Now, did she get scared? Did, was she choking? What happened? But maybe people like that, people that choke, people that do that, maybe they can't be doing what they're doing, okay? They can't be doing what they're doing. Donald, you owe that police officer a huge apology, a huge apology. Until we know what happened, we have her side of the story, which probably didn't get to you, but that all being said, you owe her a huge apology, so big, and I, you know, I love you, Donald. But, and and I, I, God, God, I pray to God every night that you win. But that was a big mistake. Now, Hillary, Hillary actually lumps the shooting in Tulsa 
and the shooting in Charlotte, which people who have seen the video said the guy had a gun in his hand against police orders when he got out of the car. Apparently, Hillary doesn't want a cop to be able to shoot anybody who's black. Watch. First, an unarmed man named Terrence Crutcher was shot and killed by a police officer in Tulsa. Then a man named Keith Lamont Scott was shot and killed by a police officer in Charlotte. I'm sending condolences and prayers to their families. I know a lot of you are as well. There is still much we don't know about what happened in both incidents, but we do know that we have two more names to add to a list of African Americans killed by police officers in these encounters. It's unbearable and it needs to become intolerable. It needs to become intolerable for a police officer to kill an African American, even if that African American has a gun pointed at the police against police orders. That's Hillary's philosophy. And don't think she won't try to do that. Don't think she won't try to change the rules of when and how an officer could defend his or herself if she's president. How dare, how dare. So two, two more names, two more names of African-Americans killed by police. Yeah, Michael Brown was killed by police. We know you brought her mother up on stage like she's some kind of hero at your convention. He attacked a cop after he robbed a store. I mean, what the heck is going on in this country? You want to know what's going on in this country? Let's go to Charlotte, shall we? I want you to look at um, this man in a parking lot being beaten, a white man being beaten in a parking lot after begging for mercy. Watch this. I haven't heard boo from our president. Thugs. Thugs. T-H-U-G-S. Why don't you find their parents, Hillary, and have, bring them up on stage with you? And then look what they did to this homeless person in Charlotte. Hey,